Boyd in the country. We are now being joined by our guest, uh, who is an educationist, and uh, who he will be speaking to us on some of these issues. You're very much welcome, sir. Yeah, good morning. Well, very quickly, uh, let's uh, set the ball rolling. Before you joined in uh, the studio here, I was having a discussion with um, uh, Beto concerning the universities that have been university certificates that have been scrapped by the Ministry of Education in a statement by uh, Professor Maman Tahir uh, yesterday. What do you make of that, sir? Well, uh, I think um, it's a very good move by the government yes. um, to sanitize um, uh, foreign degrees ownership in the country. Um, why I said that is because um, Nigerians have a penchant for anything foreign yeah. and um, that that you go and obtain a foreign degree does not necessarily mean that you you have um, a quality certificate um, i remember i i was on the program where we discussed whether uh, the issue of certificate or certificate uh -huh. okay yeah. uh, we place too much emphasis on um, uh, uh, on certificates without looking at um, uh, the the quality of those that are involved. Um, if uh, Mr. Audu, uh, the journalist of Daily, uh, Daily Independent, uh, Independent Daily, sorry, if he didn't embark on this investigative journalism, probably uh, we wouldn't have uh, known, uh, we wouldn't have been aware of what has transpired um, about these degree meals. Uh, it is not only one thing that struck me, it is not only uh, Togo and the uh, Benin Republic. Um, we are not looking at universities in Niger, universities in Malaysia, universities in Kenya, in Uganda, in Ukraine. You know, so Nigerians have a penchant for going to some of these countries in the name of acquiring. Um, foreign degrees and even in some of the advanced countries that we we talk about uh, some of these universities in some of those countries are really not um, are not up to standard uh, but um, anything foreign so the government should go the whole hog and carry out a wholesale audit of especially those that are coming from foreign countries and parading foreign degrees well well if if you recall very well um, mm. when this issue of you know nigerian students crossing over to Benin republic to mm. go and get their mm. certificates in about two or three months uh, mm. you know gained momentum it was at mm. the height of nigerian universities mm. always going on strike due to uh, scuffles between asu and the federal government so it was like an alternative route to skip over the problem between FG and, and ASU, which has been stalling uh, timely graduation of students. Uh, and do you think that perhaps if our education system had been better than it was back then, these students would not have had the need to cross over to Benin Republic for, to go and uh, do what they did? Well, it's a two-way thing. Um there is no justification because of the instability in the Nigerian educational system. There is no justification why you will go to substandard school abroad for whatever reason. Uh, a lot of people have been able to be patient despite the challenges that our university system or educational system is facing in Nigeria. Uh, a lot of people have been able to stay and endure. Uh, I think most of the people going to um, those universities abroad uh, most of them they really just wanted to cut corners i i agree that uh, there's a, there are lots of bottleneck domestically here like you have to pass jam issues of cut off mark there are so 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 many issues uh, that uh, dissuade that persuade many nigerians to want to seek uh, degrees uh, in, in places like the Republic Togo and several other countries uh, abroad uh, because um, you, passing jump is not an easy thing uh, you have to have a cutoff mark if you want to read medicine you have to have like uh, 280 and above 
uh, if you want to go into read certain courses law you have to have over two, two, 280 250 and so on and so forth so um, because of that a lot of uh, prospective uh, 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 students who are supposed to go into the university system uh, find themselves uh, not being able to get admission so they have to seek uh, alternative uh, uh, routes but one thing that is, is instructive from what the minister of education said is that uh, most times they did not even go physically to those schools they just paid the money yes got waited for their certificate yes. to arrive in a few months yes and I, I i know the minister i know the minister he will not make such statements if there were no compelling evidence there were no overwhelming the, the investigation by how do the the reporter who last year made some revelations around that he said that he didn't even have to go to the border he mm. just went through an agent and he got his certificate yes um, that is why I'm, I'm saying that um, the investigation should not just stop at um, Togo and Bene, at Togo and Bene. You know, uh, I've always said I think even on this station when I appeared where we talked the last time we talked about uh, tertiary education I, I made the point that most of those that are seeking, always seeking foreign uh, not all, most of those that are seeking foreign certificates and going to study abroad is because the Nigerian system is thorough, is very thorough. Some of them will want to go within uh, one year, they have their masters, follow up to get a PhD. And uh, even in some countries like Dubai, they, that you think that, uh, uh, that people are rushing to, you will be amazed at the quality of what they are getting in some of those countries. Now, Mr. Omale, we have less than five minutes, mm. and you mentioned something very crucial. I think it will be worthy to close with as we wrap up this conversation. Mm. Certificate or sabitikate. Mm. Now, now, the level of know-how and competence in the labor market these days mm. seem to be based on just qualification. Yes. Very few employers of labor actually look at what these employees have to offer in terms of how competent they are in the skills that the paper says they have as opposed the skills that they genuinely have you now find companies only downsizing uh, at the point when the economy is biting hard other than making sure that the point of entry is very thorough in sieving through a lot of certificates that might be genuine in terms of how they were obtained mm -hmm. as against the certificates that you talked about so just emphasize on that as we look to close yes you see um um uh, yesterday I was looking through the social media and I saw that a PhD was awarded from Benin Republic uh, to somebody uh, giving them a class of degree. It's a PhD uh, first class. <laughs> <laughs> Quite often. Yes, the PhD first class. So you discover that even some of the the, the nomenclature they use on some of these certificates is, is very very um, laughable so I, I agree nigeria we should place more emphasis on what you can do we should we should disemphasize this issue of certificates oh you must have an msc you must have a phd you must have a degree you know um, just to have the paper qualification i am one of those that believe that um, uh, getting degrees and getting certification is not the best form of uh, testing somebody's intelligence there are a lot of people that are not necessarily uh, uh, degree holders or phd holders that are very very competent uh, and um, but of course uh, that is not to say that getting certification is not important getting the necessary certificate is not important it's important but to be able to address the issue of um, um, people getting fake certificates or coming in through going to different schools abroad and coming into the labor system there have to be a mechanism of uh, assessing um, um, uh, people uh, students or graduates to be able to uh, defend their certificates uh, uh, but one thing that bothers me in all this uh, I must be frank with you um, is that there could be people uh, because i heard the minister saying that five uh, universities were duly accredited in the republic and at least three in three yes. now making a wholesale statement that uh, degrees from Pene and togo 
uh, are all fake. Uh, to me, it's not fair to some of those who may genuinely have gone ha there to uh, get a degree. Yes, it might not be. It might not be fair uh, to them. Uh, so um, the head of service and the government institutions and even private institutions need to be availed the genuine universities that are duly accredited. Uh, that is very important because if not, uh, some people who some of the some of those who who acquired those certificates from those institutions who went through the rigor of education will be victim of uh, this type of policy so uh, i didn't see anywhere where i've not read the report where the list of the universities that are duly accredited has been published has been published we only have a list of those that have been flagged as fake certificates yes we know it was a wholesale announcement yes that uh, degrees from cotonou from 2019 to 2023 and uh, degrees from um, uh, from Togo, yes. uh, they, they should not be recognized. And uh, uh, the and NYSC and, and employers should, should, should lay off. off. Yes, but I think um, the government need to go further and give the public uh, more information. Uh, let us know the institutions that are duly accredited, so that uh, people um, genuine genuine people cannot suffer uh, from this general. Uh, uh, blacklisting have uh, been done. Well, Mr. Omali Machi, we must thank you. Uh, this is as much as time will permit for us to okay. delve into this, but we're hoping that subsequently your next appearance would have more time to review some of this in projections of what it implies for our labor market in Nigeria. Okay, thank you very much. Always my pleasure. Mm.